Welcome to your eighth Java game applet tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do in today's tutorial is clean up our code a little bit because our starting point class is starting to look pretty lengthy and that's not cool. So what we're going to do is create a ball class because that way we can have multiple ball balls if we want on the screen. <laughs> multiple balls on the screen. All right, anyways. Because right now what we'd have to do is we'd have to you know set up all this stuff and it'd just be pretty hectic, pretty crazy. Um, so all we're going to do is kind of simplify everything and create a ball class. So we're going to right click, go new class, and label this ball. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to start cutting some code, uh, such as all of our gravity or energy loss, x friction, dt, um, and paste that into our ball class and we also need our x position, our y position, and our change in x as well as our radius, all that stuff. So once you have that copied, the next thing that we want to do is well, we want to have a, a method that checks for physics, updates, updates all of our physics. So we're going to public void uh, update um, and that's just going to update our physics and within this method what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to our starting point class, cut everything within this while loop of a run method um, besides the repaint and the thread sleep. So just cut that um, and go back over to our ball class, paste it, and as you can see we get an error and the reason we're getting an error is we're saying this referring to our applet or our starting point class. So what we need to do is pass in that information into our ball class through this update method. So we're just going to say uh, starting point um, starting point we're just going to label this variable sp and we're still getting an error because it's like this uh, we want to replace this with our variable that we pass in or our starting point object sp so a quick way to change all of them is just command f or control f and we're going to find something called this and we're going to replace this with sp which is our variable name then we're just going to say replace all and it will change everything for us and close so that's a quick way to update all of those this is uh, into sp the next thing that we want to do is we want to have our paint method um, for our ball class. Instead of having all of our painting right here, we, uh, we can just have a paint method within our ball class that will you know, do all the painting for us. Um, so we're just going to cut out this line of code, go over to our ball class, scroll down to the bottom, and create a public uh, void paint um, and you know paste our code within here. Now we're getting an error uh, relating to this G variable. Um, and again, that's because within our starting point class, we have this graphics that gets passed in, and that's called G. So we also want to pass in that same graphic into our ball class. Um, so we're just going to say graphics uh, G. And there we go. Um, we also have to add our import, and we have our ball class pretty much set up. Um, and so how we use this now is we can just uh, save, make sure you save your ball class, go over to the starting point class, and we're just going to create a, and also, I'm sorry, uh, one last thing just to kind of get better code. We're just going to copy our private, or you can type it out each time, and paste all of these variables to be private so only our ball has access uh, to those variables. Uh, to those variables, our ball class is the only one that has access to these variables. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our starting point class. We're going to create a new object that's going to be a ball object of the class that we just created. We're going to have this ball be um, be called B, and then within our applet start method, we're going to set up our you know our B variable to be a new ball, um, just kind of a, a default constructor there. And uh, now within our run method, while uh, within this while loop, we can just refer to our variable that we just set up called B, and we can say update, and we pass in our starting point class, um, which we want to pass in our applet. So we're just going to refer to this as well. And it's going to pass in um, the information for applet that our update method is going to use. And then also within our paint method, we're just going to refer again to our variable that we set up. And we're going to say dot uh, paint. And we want to pass in the graphic G as well. So our paint method gets some information from a, uh, this variable called G that gets passed in. We're just you know defining that same G, passing that into our paint method of our ball class and then it'll do all our painting for us. So now when we run this, hopefully we shouldn't get any errors. It should look the exact same as how we had it previously, um, which is cool. Um, and you know the awesome thing about this is we can set up multiple balls if we want. 
Uh, so we're going to have ball one and uh, comma B2 for ball two. And uh, the only other thing we're going to do is we're going to have our ball two equal to a new constructor that we're going to set up here. And we're just going to give it initial X and Y values um, of where we want to start this ball at because we want it in a different position than our previous ball. So I'm just going to say like 250 uh, by 250 um, start this ball there and obviously it's giving us an error right now because we don't have this kind of a constructor in our ball method uh, or in our ball class so you can just either hover over and say create a constructor with two integer values um, I'm just gonna do that there and we have int i and int j so all we're gonna do is we're gonna set our x position equal to i and our, our uh, y position equal to j um, again all we're doing is we're changing these private integer values x and y to be a different position of whatever's being passed in. Um, so that's adding a constructor for uh, you know taking two parameters, an x and a y value. And then when we go back over to our starting point class, we have a, a problem uh, with setting up our ball b here. Um, again, if you guys watched the last series, that kind of explains why we just need to add a default constructor. So if you hit control space, it says add a default constructor for ball hit enter and we are good to go. You don't have to change anything else. Um, so now when we save this and run it, uh, we should get something like that because we haven't uh, called our update method or paint method for our ball two that we set up. So uh, again, we're gonna scroll down to our while loop where we updated our ball one and we're just gonna say b2.update. And again, we're gonna pass in the applet information by saying this and then we're going to go down to our paint method, uh, again, b2.paint, uh, and pass in the graphic G. And now when we run this, we should have two balls on our applet. Sounds dirty, but uh, it really isn't. Um, and it, there you go. I mean, our balls don't collide with each other. They won't even realize the other one's there. They just go right through each other. But um, look how simple it was to create another ball on our applet if we choose... Um, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. We have our ball class set up and uh, we're just going to continue on from here. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll catch you later.